Hey, what's going on my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to share with you kind of an, an informal energy update for the new moon happening on November 23rd, 2022. As you can see, I'm in my bedroom right now. The kids are home from school. It's been kind of a busy week, but I did want to get a few things out to you in regards to this new moon, again, in kind of more of a off the cuff format. So one of the main things I want to convey is that from my observation, a lot of people right now are going through quite a transition, a transition into an upgraded version of yourself, an upgraded version of your life. And along with that journey can come a lot of different things that you may be experiencing right now. One of the things is you might have this strong calling to do something that involves expressing and becoming more of a full version of your authentic self. And sometimes that can be scary. Sometimes we, we doubt ourselves. And most of the time, we don't see clearly beforehand how it's going to go. We don't have like a guaranteed roadmap. And all these different reasons can stop us from being our true authentic self. But my intention of bringing this up to you is to remind you of a couple of things or to share with you a couple of things that I've learned in doing this. I've been where maybe you are at right now, where I've been previously in a life circumstance that seemed okay, seemed kind of solid. It didn't seem like it was going to be changing anytime soon. And all of a sudden, like a lot of you, I had a spiritual awakening and I became aware that there's something within myself that's not being fulfilled. I have a deeper calling, a deeper mission. And the more aware of that I, I became, the more my old scenario, my old circumstance started to kind of break down and fall apart and present a lot of different problems for me. But in spite of the energy seemingly not to be working, I still felt terrified to pursue my dreams, which at the time for me was to get onto YouTube, just as you see me now. You know, before I started on YouTube, I, I was a successful gym business owner. And not only that, but firm was my identity as this, this sort of fitness authority. And all of a sudden I found myself starting over, starting this new endeavor from scratch, this, this spiritual awakening YouTube journey. And I got to this point where I became clear that this other thing is what I want to be doing. This other thing is what I feel called to do. But in doing so, it was so hard because everyone that knew me knew me as the old Victor. And this idea to pursue these YouTube energy updates with like under 100 followers at the time, I had no real traction, no real logical reason to pursue it. When I told people that I'm going to be kind of quitting my old life, closing down my gym and going in this other direction that was just so, it's such in the pre, sort of premature stages, um, people just thought it was crazy. I thought it was crazy. I, I didn't know it was going to work out. I was just new to making YouTube videos. But something in my heart told me that it was kind of weird, but I, I, I started to feel like there wasn't even really a choice. I started, I started to even question this whole free will thing because I felt like there is a, there is a, a part of me, a part of my consciousness that has a will of its own. And I believe it is my true self that the true victor sort of was implying, I don't care if you want to stay here. You, it's not going to work. The energy of your life is no longer going to support the old you because the real authentic you is awake. And it knows who it is and it knows what it wants and it wants that. And I know your mind, I know the former self thinks it's ludicrous, thinks it's risky, but there's a bigger part of you that feels intuitively this is going to work. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make an impact on the planet. And whether you like it or not, kicking or screaming, we are going to go in this direction. And, and I, I eventually, out of like, realizing it was futile to resist, I just went with it. So I closed down my gym and I pursued my, my YouTube career. And what I found is this, the whole, what I'm leading up to here, is that once I committed to my authentic path, there was an insane amount of unexpected support that started to come my way.
when I needed money, money would be there in, in sort of bizarre, random, unexpected ways. When I needed to hear the right uh, message, I would just open up a new book that I ordered a week ago would finally get, come in the mail uh, you know, from Amazon and I would open it up and there would be exactly what I needed. There have been so many little mini ironies that gave me exactly what I needed, exactly when I needed it to somehow help me keep putting one foot in front of the other. And the more I walk this path, the more relaxed I realized it's okay to be because life will support life. Your purpose, your calling, that feeling inside of your body that longs to be expressed and brought into fruition, in my opinion, that is the life force itself wanting to birth something through you for your own benefit because it feels good to live an authentic life of a creative expression. But also, the agenda is it's going to help the whole in some way. And because of that, there just seems to be an infinite amount of ways that, th that life can support you. And I just share that little story with you. If you find yourself where I was thinking like, man, can I really trust this feeling inside of me? And the answer f from my perspective is yes, you absolutely can. And I hope you do. I hope you do for your own sake. And I hope you do for the sake of all the people that you living your authentic life is going to positively impact. I also want to share another theme I'm noticing, and it has to do with loving conflict resolution. You might notice some, sometimes we go through these phases where it seems like there's a lot of different, a lot of polarization going on within the collective. A lot of like very uh, confrontational butting of heads about particular issues or topics or beliefs or whatever perspectives. And and that's one thing. That's like the collective playing itself out. But you might also notice it's happening within your own more close, your, your closer knit relationships that you find yourself butting heads with somebody who, who's a loved one, who's a, who's a dear friend. And I find that when the energy is very charged like this, sometimes these confrontations can get blown out of proportion very quickly and, and become quite messy. And yet, luckily, there's a very simple solution. And it's not always easy, but it's always simple. And it's this. It's to speak your truth politely whenever the moment calls for it. I know it sounds simple, but speaking your truth when you know it's going to be disagreed with, <laughs> it's not easy. Being polite when the energy is very kind of intense and charged or you're triggered or the other people are triggered, not easy. And doing it in the moment that calls for it, that's really tricky because sometimes it's easier to kind of bite our tongue and not say what we feel guided to say. And that's when we can like ruminate. That's when those unspoken truths can kind of fester and become distorted by our own ego. And then the other person might have that happening with them and all of a sudden, it's no longer two brothers or sisters communicating together. It's more so one ego wanting to be right versus the other ego wanting to be right. And it can be kind of nutty. And I just think that it, that's, that, that's been a pattern, I think, that has happened within all of humanity for as, as long as we can see into the past. And I feel like there's a, that we have the opportunity to change that paradigm to really just be more loving and compassionate and honest within our communications. I found in my own experience that when I do that, it's always, it always results very good. It's always a good result. I almost feel like sometimes people are very surprised and it, it's, a, it's a way of really cutting through all the nonsense, cutting through all the tension just by being kind and sweet and polite and authentic. And um, I say this because I've had friendships in the past that have gone south, that have dissipated completely because I didn't do these things. I thought I was right. They thought they were right. And now that's all there is. It, it, now it's, it's become where we can't reconcile it. What comes to mind is this quote 
not this quote, but it's a poem actually by a Rumi. Um, and I won't read the whole poem, but it's a beautiful poem. And I hear it every single time I go to Costa Rica and do this particular plant medicine ceremony with Wachuma, the, the, the master. He always, he, he reads his poem literally every time. I hear it three times a year. And the poem, it's let's adore one another. Let's adore one another until there is no more you and me. There's a whole other beautiful part of the poem, but that's essentially all it is. It's like, let's adore one another because at some point we will be dead and that'll be the end of it. And what's, and then, then, then nobody wins anyways. So I don't know. This is a, a pattern I'm seeing within people in my own life, a pattern I'm seeing within myself sometimes. And I just wanted to sort of share it with you in case it helps remind you that there's always the option to step back, drop back into our heart, and respond consciously in, in whatever, whatever conflict or circumstance you might find yourself working through at this time. And then lastly, it's a time of positive upgrade. Right now is a time of you tap breaking through into a new, a new octave, a new higher octave of your own reality experience on all levels. It, it's a vibrational thing where your relationships, your sense of self, your health, your physical body, your living situation, your career, your abundance level, all the different preferences you have are all kind of scaling and leveling up right now. And it's, it's because of the work you've already done. There's no stopping it. There's no thing you need to learn or understand or figure out. It's just a natural happening as you continue to go do all the shadow work that life <laughs> seems to like force you to do from time to time. It's, we're all going through the ringer in, to an extent just by living here on planet Earth at this time. And there's a lot of positive benefits of doing that. And, and it's just leveling up this, this, this point, this period of it, this expansion. But sometimes, as crazy as it sounds, we tend to fear. We tend to go into fear or we tend to resist or sabotage these blessings from the universe. What comes to mind is several years ago, when I, I was on in my truck one time and I looked on my phone and I saw one of my YouTube videos was going crazy. I was seeing all the stats and I was like getting like, like hundreds and hundreds of followers every single hour at this point. It was like, it was going viral. And it's something, it's like my, I don't know, 400th video. It's a project you could say I've been working for for a very, very, very long time. And all of a sudden it finally started to kind of uh, climax. And you know what I felt? I felt terror. I felt this extreme, my heart started beating very intensely because I became like, oh wow, this is just not familiar. This is too much. I don't know. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to get attached. What if it goes wrong? All this fear came up to something very positive happening in my, my YouTube career. You know what I did? I let the fear get to me and I, I sabotaged my growth. I, I, Forgot what I did exactly at that time. I've done it multiple times. <laughs> Some of you have observed, but I did something to stop the growth, to stop the expansion. Why? No, no logical reason except fear. That's the only, the only explanation, and it was an illogical fear. I'm having it right now in my own life. Why I'm sharing it. Me and my wife Patty as. I may have shared a few times, had been on the fence for a couple of two, three years now about having another child. And I was recently in Costa Rica and we felt, uh, we felt the presence of this little, what seemed like a little feminine little girl, little, little girl that wanted to come through. And it was just so clear and so synchronistic. And the whole message, the whole, my perception of all of this, which would be very difficult to articulate, was that this new little baby bird being what this being wants to come into your life and she's going to be just bring so much joy to the family to our lives to the world and the only question is can you let it in can you allow yourself to let life become even more awesome and what i found is that as exciting as this all was and as much as it resonated i found myself feeling a lot of fear well, i don't know why it kicks up for me ancestral trauma, past life stuff, all this old stuff that I have come to associate with goodness wanting to come into my life. But I decided I'm not going to let the fear stop me this time. Not with this. 
even though I have in the past on many occasions suppressed joy and love and expansion in my life. I am, for one, making a choice not to, and I wanted to just share this with you in case you find your life trying to get awesome and you are putting the brakes on for some reason. I don't know about you, but I can't tell you how it's going to go, but I'm not. I'm going to see what happens this time. I'm going to keep my foot off the brake and let life unfold, and I have a lot of trust and faith that it's going to work out and be as awesome as I anticipate, and I hope that you can do the same thing. With that said, my friend, I hope you have an amazing day. Oh yeah, one quick thing before I go. Once a year for Black Friday, even though I don't care about that occasion at all, I use it as an excuse to kind of say thank you to you by giving most of my courses away. All of them combined that I'm packaging together in this particular situation, uh, the cost, if you were to buy them all separately, over $3,000. And you can get them all for $97. It's like 3% of what I would normally charge. It's just a way to say thank you. You don't have to take me up on it. But those that have been curious about what other offerings I have or have seen them and just not bought them at the time, well, now might be the good time. I'm going to leave a link down below that goes over all the details. You can click it and explore it if that resonates. If not, that's totally fine as well. The main thing is to, for me to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your, lo your lovely comments and all the nice things you do and say about me. There are times where I feel weak. There are times where I feel vulnerable. And you are all there fairly in a constant way to just, you, you, I feel the energy you send to me and it helps me help you. It helps me help others. So, so thank you, my friends. And rather than me just saying thank you, this is a way I can really mean it, where I discount my, my courses to you know 97% off, essentially, but only for a few days. Again, there's a link down below if you want to check it out. There's some pretty awesome things in there. Honestly, they'll help you with your morning routine. They'll help you if you're an empath, help you if you're going through a kundalini awakening, help you find your purpose, help you do shadow work, all these different uh, aspect of the spiritual awakening process that over the years I've covered with these demonstrative how-to courses to really help you accelerate your awakening. And right now you can get it all for only 97 bucks. So click down below if that interests you, my friends. With that said, have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.